<laughs> All right, I just have to ask you guys, nerds, for those who are watching, I just want to know on a scale of 1 to 10, how shocked are you? Um, because we kind of knew this was coming a month in advance from what I could tell, and that's thanks to Hurt's Devil finding out that the weapon had basically been changed over from an enemy-only attribute to something a player would use, but I guess it's time to take a look at our next mythic hero. It's one edgy, edgy boy, and uh, kind of all time will travel too, but anyways. Let's just. Oh. You can weep for your mistakes. Oh! You can repent for your sins. Oh, but oh. you cannot wash away your past. Okay. 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 I'm actually gonna have to edit that in the actual video because that was insanely loud, that transition from, you know, somewhat victorious, kind of nice sounding theme that they always have to outright screaming from the Book 3 theme. So. Fun stuff. All right, so let's take a look at what Leaf has under the hood. And, well, he brings along his sword that we already knew existed, and that is, uh, well, pretty decent. Um, it kind of has pains of, you know, <laughs> fallen Burkut in this way. So if a unit is within three spaces of an ally, it will grant plus four to all of his stats, give him a guaranteed follow-up attack, but after that, as long as he actually attacked... Well, it will deal 20 damage to a nearby ally, the nearest ally in this case, and it's a certain fun way to kill your allies, granted you don't have a healer. Fun stuff. Meanwhile, he also brings along with him another ability that I was not expecting to see, Open the Future, which is, uh, you know, an ability that was only available to New Year's Alphonse before this, granted that was with his sister, but it is a nice little... Touch, I will say. A good little, you know, key reference there that could really go a long way. So it, it's good to at least see this, bu well, buff, special skill come back. But very interesting to see that, of all people, Leaf gets it. Still, good touch. Distant Counter, I I mean, it, it, I was going to say that this is basically Fallen Burkut without any sort of Distant Counter built into the weapon. But then, of course, we have Distant Counter built into the actual kit. So the question now is, which one is the better advantage here? And I honestly think Leaf might actually have a better, stronger advantage than, say, Fallen Burkut. Because, well, you know, just that weapon, that A skill, really nice. But then you take in the B skill and things are going to start, well, to kind of make a deadly balance in this way. Uh, <laughs> so, when it comes to deadly balance... At least if I recall from how I can read these, I always hate reading abilities like these because guard and, you know, breath and blade skills are always just mm, aggravating in how they're written. But anyways, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is above 40, 40, 50 percent, or if a penalty is applied, that means a visible debuff, be it in the stat pain menu or something by the sprite like, say, panic, um, it will inflict attack and defense minus five on foe and grants a special cooldown charge plus one per foe's attack during combat. This seems to be a breath-like effect in this regard, and, um, you know, because plus minus one, always just insane, but still, only the highest value is applied, does not stack, yada, 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 but the special cooldown charge will be granted even if foe's attack deals zero damage, so. Yay, that's a pretty potent B skill, honestly. Granted, he does not have the ability to at least grant debuffs um this will solely be for him at least as long as you don't happen to have say allies who can do so uh well it will be solely focused on his hp at that that way so yeah, fun stuff killing your own allies while making sure that you yourself are as buff as possible gotta love it all right and then of course times pulse three which means that uh, open the future should be available super super fast uh, and is definitely going to be a really fun kit, at least for those who are big fans of Leaf. A lot of you have been waiting for him, and now we have our second legendary Leaf, which I'm, of course, talking about. I, 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 okay, I gotta see something, actually. Let's just continue on with the video. So loud! Nice. <laughs> I must be ruthless. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, blue, green. 
Oh, Blue's, Blue's fairly strong, honestly. Not too bad. I, I find it funny how how many legendary and mythic heroes we have. Oh, Kangas, not bad. Lucas as well. Alawood, extremely strong. Violet as well. Fury 4. Ooh, Hilda too, by the way. And that was what I was wondering was going to happen. So, we finally have a banner with both legendary leaves available. That's great. But um, when it comes to the whole whole pool here, uh, the red one looks incredibly strong. Elowood is just... He's, his ability in his sword is just outrageous. Byleth, of course, is a good Fury 4 option. Not bad. Then, of course, we have other leaf, bow leaf, normal, you know, Thracia leaf, who is incredibly strong as a bow cavalier. And also Kangas. I mean, Loki's probably the one small weak link, and I... Yeah, I'm just going to say the weak link of the uh, colorless group there, because Kangas and, of course, you know, Leaf are pretty strong. Yune goes along with Legendary Hector, and they're, they're still fairly competent as units. I'm not going to say anything bad there. And then, of course, we have Hilda. Hilda! Hilda! That's all I got to say. Um, oh, and, you know, I'm glad that they're at least bringing... Uh, <laughs> is Picnic Lucas the only seasonal unit in this banner? Uh, that's got to be awkward. He just came there to have a picnic, and here we are, nonetheless, just kind of lost. <laughs> At a loss for words. Honestly, it's not really that surprising, as it is with all of this. He has a strong base kit, and the banner itself is a pretty strong contender for a lot of these units available here, including Picnic Lucas <laughs> of all things. But I do want to know what you guys think in the long run. Honestly... It seems like Shades of Fallen Burkut, just a little bit different, and with a pretty hefty B skill to go along with it. Do you like how his sword is just, you know, a place where uh, Odin got swashed with another <laughs> with another god, just drinking all day? But anyways, um, you know, that's about it, guys. Shocked as it may be, I will catch you all on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. I'll be back with actual content fairly soon. Just been a lot going on, but love you guys, and I'll see you all soon.